Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe it's autopsy time. This piece of crap had a rather impressive meltdown while it was charging my phone. Luckily, the phone is still okay, but this thing was burning hot to the touch and was still sizzling when I pulled the plug. When it failed, it was charging my MaxBoost Atomic charger case, which was featured on an earlier video, and my iPhone, each of which pulls a nominal 1 amp at 5 volts when charging. It only lasted about half an hour before it blew up, and while it was working, both seemed to charge at the expected rate. Here's a look at the back panel. It's branded Sakar or Sacker, or however that's pronounced. Made in China, obviously. And it says rated for 5 volts DC, 1000 milliamps on the USB ports. It doesn't specify whether that 1000 is shared between the ports, or it's 1000 each. Got it open, and it looks about like what I would expect, considering the amount of magic smoke that spewed out of this thing. Got a bunch of staining here, and I got some more staining up in here. All signs point to a rather catastrophic failure of the main switching transistor. The casing is cracked, there's a bit of it melted and bulged out. It went up in smoke pretty badly. Here's a different look at the damage on the main transistor. On the far side, there's a bit of soot staining down towards the bottom of the case right there. A second failure occurred in this surface mount component right here on the back of the board. Probably some sort of feedback or driver chip for the switching transistor. The pin on the left here has been blown clean off with just a soot stain remaining. So this board is pretty dead. The board did have a tiny fuse on the AC side. Checking continuity. That's a sound to listen for. Nothing at all. The fuse is open circuit. It did do its job, thankfully. Otherwise this thing probably would have gone up in flames. One final failed looking part is this resistor next to the output rectifier diode. Resistor is looking pretty well cooked. Not sure if that's from its own power dissipation or the fact it was next to a hot diode. There you have it. So buyer beware. These things may be able to put out their rated current, but they may not necessarily survive putting out their rated current. In my case, I was lucky. I was only a couple meters away, so I could pull the plug quickly. It also only failed on the primary side, not the secondary side, so the phone never saw any high voltage spikes that could have damaged it. Many of my subscribers know this already, but for any newcomers, be very careful leaving things charging unattended. Some pretty nasty surprises can happen. Thanks for watching.